Hi, I'm Peggy Ciccone, and I'm this year's Walt Greeley Special Achievement Award recipient. As a management. Hi, Marla. I'm good. I'm just, I'm just do, it, filming an interview now. I'll, 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 I'll have her call you back. Great, bye. Now, where's Cynthia? Did she go out for lunch? How would you describe Peggy? How would I describe Peggy? Well, Peggy's very... Domineering. Uncouth. Formidable. Argumentative. Scrappy. She's a ballsy broad. But if you grew up in a saloon in South Porcupine, Ontario, how would you expect to behave? Well, you know what everybody calls Peggy. The queen of f***ing everything. The queen of f***ing everything. The queen of f***ing everything. I would say that's a pretty accurate description of me. Well, growing up in South Porcupine was, was amazing. It was very much a Sudbury country mining town and you just fought. You got drunk and fought in the weekends. I, I think if Rush had played there in 72, they'd have been beaten up. <laughs> so the first time Ray called me, I was the social convener for the high school. I was booking bands. So he was trying to sell me bands and he'd try and sell me Rush. And I'd go, three piece, I can get a four piece for the same price. <laughs> she came to Toronto on more than one occasion and came down and she was looking for a job and wanted to be in the music business. And I sort of contemplated it. Ray Daniels had already at that point decided he wasn't going to hire me. So he's been paying for it ever since. <laughs> and the next thing I knew, she was working for someone else. And it took um, probably a year and then I was able to lure her away. And she's been here since other than one short period of time where she left and came back. Everything that Peggy did was about detail. She was all about how her band was going to be treated, why they were going to be in a marketplace. Nothing was left to chance. But do not mess with Peggy Giacconi. She was very protective of not only us, but all the artists. And she wasn't afraid to be in somebody's face. But Peg also had common sense of when to push and when not to push. That's a good skill to have, especially when you're dealing with uh, musicians who, not all of them, are very intelligent, so. I'm not sure Peggy actually realizes what kind of an impact she did make on the industry for artists, for copyright, for, for the industry in, in general. She elevated the Canadian music industry because she was at those tables and she stood on principle all the way through. I was always involved in boards. And, and my philosophy is artist first. It, it doesn't matter the rest of us. Without a song or without, without a performance, we got nothing. She's one of the hardest working women in the Canadian music industry or in, in the music industry in general. And that's not easy, uh, as uh, many people realize. You know, that glass ceiling exists and she's one of the ones that constantly busting through. People deal with Peggy and have to deal with the side of her that can be tough and can be rough. They also know the other side of her. Either without the other in the music business is not a good combination. The two together, lethal. Everyone wants to deal with you. I'm loud and, I'm, and I believe in what I fight for. I actually do believe in what I fight for. And, and I can play any side of the fence. If I'm fighting, I believe. In the 36 years this award has been given out, I'm proud to say it is going to a trailblazing woman for the third time, the one and only Peggy Ciccone. In a male-dominated industry, having been in this business for 50 years, yes, 50, you must appreciate she has done many things right to still be in it and made such an impact. You see, Peggy built her reputation on how she made people feel. She has a reputation for knowing her stuff, She's known for being a tough negotiator, and she's always ensured the artist she was fighting for was getting their fair share. She was also the first person everyone wanted to go to the bar with or share a meal, and that is a rare combo. Peggy Ciccone, you're an exceptional human being, and I'm so happy you're being honored. I promise when we're all allowed to congregate again, we will be hosting the best peg roast there is to do a proper tribute in person. Congratulations. Thank you, Karis, for this honor. I've been to every Juno since 1978. So to get this award now, you know, I thought I was too young to receive it.
but it is very encouraging. 50 years is a long time and I couldn't possibly capture what I'd like to say in this pandemic format. So go read the uncensored transcript. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha!